Now, once you have the view set up, we need to add the space element into our model. The space element will identify the location of the circuit and the light fixtures and the switch location. So from the Analyze tab, select Space, and then start placing your mouse over the, the room. And you can see that the boundary for space is uh, sufficient and you see that uh, boundary highlighted in red. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna click on each uh, room and create a space inside each room. And as long as you have tag on placements on, so each time you place a space, the tag will be automatically created for that space. So we're just gonna create all this space inside the room. Just keep clicking inside each room until all the area is filled with space. Once you finish, then you're gonna double click on modify twice to finish this command. Now you can see the color of the spaces. So um, the reason why we turn this on is that it will help us identify when we place too many space in one boundary. Say for example, we click on space again, and we go to this boundary, we click again. You can see that rabbit told us that, uh, warn us that we have two space in the same boundary. And it's not good practice. It can cause confusion when you do scheduling. So we'll, just for the sake of demonstration, we'll select OK. You can see that boundary with more than one space will be a darker shade of green. That's why we turn the, the shading for the space to be on so that you can identify this kind of error. So when this happens, you should really just put your mouse over one of those uh, tags and then use the tab key to select the space that is extra and then click and then you can hit delete key or go up here and click on this command delete. It will delete the extra space inside the boundary. Now the next thing we need to do is to synchronize this space information with the architectural model's room information. To do that quickly, we can actually just go and go to the view tab, create a schedule. So we click on schedule drop down, select schedule and quality. And then we're going to select the schedule category to be space. Select that category. And then we're going to select OK. And we're creating a space schedules. Now we're going to select uh, space. First, we're going to select level. So we can sort the space based on level. And then we're going to sort, and uh, we're going to add in the space name and the number. And then we're going to switch information category to room. And again, we're going to select room name and room number. And now on sorting a grouping tab, we're going to select sort by level. And we want to have a header. And then the next sorting, we're going to use the sorting by room, num room number. And we're going to select OK. Now you can see that on level one, these are the spaces that we created. And then this is the name of the room and the number. So we need to match it uh, in the same way as the architectural model. So very quickly, we can just click on each item and type in the same value. So in this one, we're going to type in mechanical. And the room number is 001. And the next one, so once you finish typing one room, you can use a drop down to pick up that value. Now, because we placed a space number to match the room number, but we already have another space number 25 in here from another level, we can ignore that for the time being, but we should try to avoid having the uh, same number for space or room.
Now, if we actually do a quick check um, while we're typing this information in, uh, the floor plan with this with a space label will show exactly what we updated. So if we quickly reduce this view and go back to our floor plan, you can see that this information is updated based on the schedule information. So we can go back to the schedule and quickly updating the rest of this information and we can move on with the next part of this model building. Now, once you finish synchronizing the space information with the room information, when you close the schedule view, when you go back to the plan view, you see that the label will show exactly what you have updated. Now we can turn off the fill color in this view and continue building our electrical model. So type VB from the visibility graphic to bring out the visibility graphic override dialog box. From the model category, go search for space and expand the category and then uncheck the toggle on interior and then select apply and then select OK.